Gentive Ag is a concept where we rebuild our soil. We degrade it for several years now uh, to the point that we're at the bottom. As I was going through this journey, I started beginning to realize that uh, something very harmful was happening to our, our country, and to our rural communities. Our rural communities were becoming decimated and people were moving out, they didn't have jobs. Actually, there was no hope. People laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because they're all the same. You look at agriculture today, it's all about big business. Let's all plant corn and soybeans and wheat and let's all put animals in confinement. Well, I encourage young people, don't look at it that way. Look at what is the market really asking for and what are the consumers willing to pay for? I think before we switched tracks, we were kind of managing scarcity. And so we were killing everything but one thing um, in the fields. We were, in a sense, killing all the other farmers but one, because it was kind of a last man standing um, mentality. Because um, you always need to get bigger. There's a lot of great things that happen in conventional agriculture, but there's room now with regenerative ag for you know families to actually sit around and, and work through problems in ag. So I started noticing, I said, well, what's going on to our rural America? And finally, I realized that the wealth of the land was starting to escape from the rural America. It was, it was leaving that rural community. And the money was going to people that made the tools, people that made the equipment, people that made the chemical fertilizer, people that uh, facilitated the industrial agriculture model. And I was seeing farmers very frustrated, farmers going broke because they had no hope because the cost of these tools, the cost of the fertilizer, the cost of the chemicals was getting outrageous. When you talk about and think about regenerative ag, it's also about uh, revitalizing our local communities. Uh, if you drive across rural America, you see a lot of the countryside's dried up. Uh, people move to town, farmers have been discouraging their kids to stay on the farm, no profitability. Because we can get all this great technology and kind of what scares me a little bit about some of the modern robotics is that we'll forget what people are for. We'll forget that it's a, an honor and a part of our, our makeup and how we were created to work, uh, to tend the garden and to, to be a part of it. You know, there's still a lot of the traditional ways that the thought processes, but there's a lot of room for innovation and uh, new thoughts and bringing some of the younger people back on the farm. And, to, you know, Regenerative Ag offers an opportunity, I think, for those young farmers to kind of get in um, on a small scale. And that's, in, 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 at a small scale, it adds a level of intimacy to what you're doing and a lot more care. And so I see some of that happening. I'm a firm believer that we need more families out on the landscape, not less. These farms and ranches have gotten way too big. If we can farm in diverse ways, uh, we can bring more people back to enterprises. So we shrunk our acreage and we have our whole family there, but we, we talk about pretty frequently that if there was a young couple that had an enterprise, we've got to find a land. But what this regenerative agriculture is moving now is that the wealth is coming back, that if we mimic nature, if we farm in nature's image, the, the beautiful thing starts to change. Rural America, young people are moving back, starting to farm. And I start seeing that um, a sense of hope is coming back because farmers that mimic nature don't use less fertilizer, use less chemicals, less pesticides. And then I start seeing, wow, the rural communities are starting to become, will become more vibrant and they'll be more run in the patterns the way nature was intended. And a lot of the wealth goes back to the farmer and to the producer. Take our own operation. We were well over 6,500 acres. Now we're down to 5,000. Our goal is within another five years 
we'll be down to the 1,389 acres we own, which is still plenty big enough for a large-scale farming operation. This is a way that we can redo that, rebuild that. Uh, there's so much opportunity if you rebuild your soil where you can hold water, where you can hold nutrients, where you can be more profitable, graze animals where you've never grazed animals before. There's just so many opportunities for the younger generation to do. They're very innovative. Agriculture is a bright spot for anyone who wants to get into it, if they have the drive, desire, and determination. Now, many young people say, well, I can't afford to go out and buy land. You don't have to buy the land. In fact, I recommend that's the last thing they should do. You find out what there's a market for first, and then you produce it. So early on when we moved back to the farm, um, Jonathan was and his dad were the only people that were really out on the land at that point in time. There wasn't really a need for extra people to be out there to be involved. And then as we switched to regenerative agriculture, we brought livestock in, we started doing things that the whole family could be involved in. Um, our goal all along was to restore life in the soil. What we didn't expect was it restored life, human life, back to the farm. Now I have a lot of hope because there's this movement now where young people are saying, you know what, I want to farm, I want to rent, there is hope, I can make money. And that's encouraging. We need more families on the land to revitalize these local economies. By doing so then, we need to get our food system back to where it's buying local. Let's keep the money in our local communities, let's keep the children in the schools, and let's produce truly nutrient-dense healthy food so that the United States does not have these health issues. It's time we start thinking of food as health. I think that it helps bring some smaller communities together in the, in the idea that they're kind of rallying around the resource together. We're all a part of it in some way. We're there, um, we're connected to it, whereas before most of us were very removed from it. And so we've seen the regeneration of our soils along with just Habitat our family. Life. <laughs> life begets life. There's education on both sides now. You know, we always thought education on the farm kind of came from the top down. You know, grandpa taught dad and dad taught son. And I see people coming back to the farm with these different ideas and they're kind of now teaching each other, right? And it's, it's important. You grow up and you're taught to go somewhere better, so we always have this desire to be somewhere else than where we currently are. There's a, a blessing in being content with where we are um, and making where we are better and improving it. And so I think there's, there's no such thing as somewhere else that's better. And so when you put roots down somewhere, you can truly find a satisfying life. Regenerative ag is, is more than just about the soil. It's about what we can do for America and the community around that.